In this video, we will derive a formula for the volume of a unit cell in any crystal system. So let us consider the most general crystal system, that is the triclinic crystal system. In this system, we have three lattice parameters. The three axial lengths are not equal, and the three interaxial angles are also not equal. So the unit cell is a parallelopiped based on these three lengths and angles. In a previous video, we saw that the volume of the unit cell is the square root of the determinant of the metric ends. So we first need to find the determinant of the triclinic unit cell. In the video on metric tensor, you have seen that the def definition of metric tensor involves the dot product between the basis vector. So you have a dot a, a dot b, a dot c, b dot a, dot c, and b dot C, C dot A, C dot B, and C dot C. This matrix is called the metric tensor. For the triclinic system, we can write the metric this matrix. So A dot A is A square, A dot B is a b cosine of the angle between a and b which is gamma and you have a dot c as a c cos beta b dot b is b square b dot c b c cos alpha and c dot c c square the matrix is symmetric so you can write the other terms as equal to these terms. For volume, you just have to find the determinant of this matrix and take the square root. At first sight, it appears a little complicated, but actually it is not. You can find this determinant quite simply. So let us try to do it by expanding using the first row. So we have a square a b cos gamma b square b c cos theta. And similarly, we write the second and third terms. And if you further expand it out, you will see, you can do that algebra, not very difficult. You will see that the volume is ABC times a factor which is based on the angles. And that is simply 1 minus cos square alpha minus cos square beta minus cos square gamma plus 2 cos alpha cos beta cos gamma square root of this whole thing. So this becomes the most general formula for the volume of a unit cell. Using this formula, you can specialize it to any specific unit cell which is under consideration. So particularly let us look at hexagonal unit cell. In this unit cell you have A equal B and you have alpha equal beta equal 90 degree and gamma is equal to 120 degree. So you will have cos alpha cos beta 0 and you will have cos gamma is equal to minus half. If you substitute these in this formula, 
you can see that you get a simple formula for so if you substitute these in the general formula you get the volume for the hexagonal unit cell which a square c 1 minus of square comma square c 1 minus so you have root 3 by 2 k square c of course you could have got this volume much more directly and simply because it's actually a hexagonal prism just the area times the base and the base is actually two equilateral triangles of side length a so two and the area of the equilateral triangle is half a square cross 60 degree Thank you.